Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, CSIR Net June 2016 Complex Analysis Question Number 36 from Part B, Three Marks Question. And the question is: Let capital D be the open unit disk in complex plane C, and H of D be the collection of all holomorphic functions on it. And let S is equal to set set of all f belongs to h of d such that f of 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 f of 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 4 and so on f of 1 by 2n is equal to 1 by 2n and so on that means whenever the denominator is an even number that means uh, 2 4 and so on 2n and it is defined to be identity f of 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 f of 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 4 and f of 1 by 2n is equal to 1 by 2n and so on and another set capital T is equal to set of all f belongs to h of d such that f of 1 by 2 is equal to f of 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 f of 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 5 is equal to 1 by 4 and so on f of 1 by 2n is equal to f of 1 by 2 n plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 n and so on then we have to choose one correct options from the four and four options are option number one both s and t are singleton sets option number two s is a singleton set but t is equal to empty set option number three t is a singleton set but s is equal to empty set and option number four both s comma t are empty and this is an application of identity theorem so first we recall the identity theorem statement and here the statement is if f and g are analytic on a region capital G, then f is identically equal to g if and only if set of all z belongs to g such that f of z is equal to g of z has a limit point in capital G. So this is the statement of identity theorem. So statement says that f and g are analytic on a region capital G, then f is identically equal to g means f is equal to z if and only if z of all z belongs to g such that f of z is equal to g of z has a limit point in that region capital g so we will use this uh, theorem and uh, coming to the problem here the given statement is d be a open unit disk in complex plane c and h of d be the collection of all holomorphic functions on it holomorphic functions are nothing but analytic functions okay so here given that given that d is a open unit disk means it is a modulus object is less than 1 and uh, h of d is nothing but collection of all holomorphic holomorphic functions on that uh, disk cattle d okay so here d is an open unit disk in complex plane C say for example if we take uh, this is uh, a complex plane C so unit disk means uh, radius 1 with center 0 say this is uh, D okay so this is uh, minus 1 and this is plus 1 say this is uh, plus I and this is minus R so center at the uh, a zero and here h of d with the collection of all holomorphic functions in capital d so these are all uh, holomorphic functions in that region capital d so this represents uh, h of d h of d with the collection of all holomorphic functions in that uh, unit disk uh, capital d okay now s yes, is a set is uh, defined to be set of all f belongs to h of d such that 
f of 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2, f of 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 and so on, f of 1 by 2n is equal to 1 by 2n and so on. So that means uh, f of 1 by 2n is equal to 1 by 2n. As n tending to infinity, the limit point of this uh, function is equal to 0. So a limit point is equal to 0 and clearly that uh, 0 belongs to open disk capital D because here D is an open disk, open unit disk means it contains the point uh, 0 because uh, here this is the unit disk with center 0 and radius uh, 1. So clearly 0 belongs to this open disk. So limit point 0 belongs to capital D. Okay. So as n tending to infinity, we get uh, 0 is the limit point of this function f of 1 by 2n is equal to 1 by 2n. So limit point of this function is equal to 0. Clearly that belongs to that unit open disk uh, capital D. Okay. Now put uh, 1 by 2n is equal to z. So if we take 1 by 2n is equal to z, from this we get f of z is equal to z, means identity, f of z is equal to z. Therefore, by using that uh, identity theorem by identity theorem, f is identically equal to say capital I, identity. So here we have only one function in place of small g also we have uh, cat uh, that is uh, function f of z is equal to z means this is an identity function means if we take any function in the set capital S it must be an identity function means this set consisting only one function therefore the cardinality of S is equals to 1. That implies cardinality is equal to 1 means S is a singleton set. set. S is a singleton set. Now we will see the options. So here S is a singleton set and the options are look at the option number 4 both s comma t are empty so this is a wrong option and uh, coming to option number 3 t is a singleton set but s is empty but here we have uh, cardinality of s is equal to 1 so we can discard uh, option number 3 also so from this we can discard uh, option number 3 and uh, option number 4 okay now we will discuss this set uh, capital T. So here capital T is uh, defined as T is equal to set of all F belongs to H of D such that F of 1 by 2 is equal to F of 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 and F of 1 by 4 is equal to F of 1 by 5 is equal to 1 by 4 and so on f of uh, f of 1 by 2n is equal to f of 1 by 2n plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2n and so on okay so here f of 1 by 2n plus 1 is defined to be 1 by 2n here also as n tending to infinity the limit point of this function is a limit point is 0 which is clearly belongs to the region capital D. Now put uh, 1 by 2n plus 1 is equal to z. So from this 2n plus 1 is equal to 1 by z. So that implies 1 by z minus 1 is equal to 2n. Okay. So that implies 
वन बाय जेड इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू एन सो दिस इंप्लाइज टू एन इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस जेड बाय जेड ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस टू एन इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन बाय जेड दैट इज वन माइनस जेड बाय जेड सो हियर एफ ऑफ वन बाय टू एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू एन बट टू एन मीन्स वन माइनस जेड बाय जेड सो वन बाय टू एन मीन्स दिस इज बिकम्स जेड बाय वन माइनस जेड यर वन बाय टू एन प्लस वन इज नथिंग बट जेड सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यूज वी गेट दिर फोर एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ जेड मीन्स वन बाय टू एन प्लस वन सो हियर वन बाय टू एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जेड सो दैट मीन्स एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू एन वन बाय टू एन मीन्स दिस इज जेड बाय वन माइनस जेड ओके बट इट इज नॉट कंटिन्यूअस एंड नॉट डिफरेंशियबल एट जेड इज इक्वल टू वन इज इज नॉट कंटिन्यूअस एंड नॉट डिफरेंशियबल एट जेड इज इक्वल टू वन सो देर फोर देर does not exist such function okay therefore cardinality of t is equal to 0 that implies t is equal to empty set that means coming to the options here the option number 1 is both s comma t are singleton sets but here we got s is a singleton set and t is a empty set so we can discard uh, option number 1 so only the correct option is option number 2 that is s is a singleton set but t is empty set here we got uh, s is a, a singleton set and uh, t is a empty set so therefore option Two is correct. Is it clear? So option number two is the correct option. So this is the solution of question number thirty-six. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.